I want to use the mustache, mustache templating system here to simplify my forms code. So previously when we wrote this, we had all of this HTML inside of here and that's not ideal. I don't like having the LIs and the H2s and Ps in here because it, uh, it defeats kind of, um, we lose a little bit of maintenance quality and we can't collaborate as easily. So what I would prefer to do is use mustache templating. So let's first include the JS here. So here's the mustache templating engine, and then we'll include the, oops. Uh, we'll put our template here. Let's call it template type equals X dash. I forget what it is. So let's just go we'll double check over here. It's X dash temple this mustache like that. All right. So we know that our template is to have an LI with a class equal to either plant eater or meat eater. So let's put that in here. And we know that we have an H2 in here, which has the dinosaur's name. And in we also have a paragraph where it says age colon something uh, million years old, like that. So here's our basic template. All we need to do is fill in the little mustache uh, zones, the placeholders. So up here, let's call this um, class, like that. This one will be name, and this one right here will be age. So we've got the placeholders in place so that we can fill in this information. I spelled template wrong. Now what we can do is go in here and we can set this up. So let's first create our variable called template, and is equal to dollar sign um, ID template dot html and we'll go mustache dot uh, parse template so there we have our template ready to go now we can replace the information in here and set it up as an object so let's create a variable here uh, that is the object so let's call it um, dino and it's going to be an object because mustache requires objects in order to render its templates the first thing in here is its name so that's this information here, the name.val. So we'll take that and its age, which comes from age.val. So we'll take that. And the last thing is the class like this. And that comes from the checked thing right here. So we'll put that. And now all of this information is not useful anymore. So we can delete it. And we can delete this thing here too. And so now we have our information stored in an object. And it's so much uh, more useful stored in an object than forcing it into HTML uh, elements. So now that we have it in an object, we can render it and we can append it into our list item. So it's actually easy to do right here. We can just do mustache.render. We want to render our template, and the information we want to pass is dino, like that. So we have created our template here, including mustache, put the stuff in place. We've created an object to match that information, and we're rendering it here. We're appending that rendered thing onto our website. So let's just double check that this works. So I'll go T-Rex, it's uh, 60 million years old, and it's a meat eater. All right, so that worked. The only thing you can see here is it didn't get the class out properly. So let's go see what happened. It's object object is what it's outputting. So this is because I didn't get the value of the class. So let's try again. T-Rex, age is 60 million years, it's a meteor. There we go. Let's do another one. Diplodocus, it's 160 million years and it's a plant eater. There we go. So we have now cleaned up our JavaScript significantly. We've used a template here. Our HTML is now only in the HTML and the JavaScript only has access to JavaScript. And we've even made it significantly more reusable because we're creating a variable here to, to store our 
uh, dinosaur information. So when you're creating JavaScript, try not to cross your streams. Keep your HTML in your HTML, keep your CSS in your CSS, and JavaScript is left alone then.